Going back to our script and collapsing all the components except the array of data rows, notice that we have used a PHP function size of at the end of the list of rows. The size of function returns the number of elements in its array argument. So in this case, the variable num rows is assigned the value 3 because there are three rows in the array person data. Don't confuse the value of size of with the highest array index because the array index starts at 0. We'll collapse this for now and look at the SQL statement. Remember that this comprises insert into t person, a comma separated list of field names, the keyword values, and a comma separated list of data values. Consider what this might be like if there were lots more data records involved, not just three, but hundreds. For one thing, we'd certainly want to be able to repeat this section of code no matter how many data rows there are. Now I've indented the insert value section here so you can see exactly what section of code is dependent on the number of data rows. For each data row, we need to increment this index x so that the array person data is incremented with the same variable. So in the first data row, we're using the data array person index 0 and then the four values. In the second data row, person data 1 and the four values, and so on. So we'd need one of these for every data row. Let's delete all three of these data values and replace it with the snippet insert people while. Save the file as insert person data 2. Save as insert person data 2. The piece of code we've inserted is a while loop. We start off by initializing a counter variable INDX for index to zero. And then we say while this variable index is less than num rows, which you will recall from the previous example, while that's less than num rows, do all this stuff. When you've done this bit, increment index by one. So what is this doing? For as many rows as there are, we're appending a values component to the SQL statement. Person SQL insert is appended by the person data record of index when it's zero, then index when it's one, then index when it's two, and so on, until index is one less than the number of rows. After we've appended the values component, we add a comma to make it a comma separated list in every case except the last one, which is when index is less than num rows minus one. So our code for the value section of our insert statement is now completely generic and only depends on num rows, not on any particular data or even how big num rows is. We can now collapse that and let's have another brief look at our data rows if we were to add in another row here, person data 3 equals array Mr. Jeff Hennessy, the rest of the code will execute in exactly the same way, except it will insert four rows into the table instead of just three. So now the only thing that our code is dependent upon is the number of data rows. Well, we really do want to get rid of this data out of our code. Ideally, we'd like a completely separate data file, say a CSV file, a comma separated variable file, that we could use PHP to read the data. And that's precisely what we're going to do. Open a new code pane and insert the snippet examplets files data file people. And here we have a simple list of comma separated items, obviously salutation, first name, last name, and this one will be company ID, and save this file, making sure again that it's in the dbwip directory, as simply data file. No suffix, just data file, which should return us back to our code page. Now delete 
the setup of the array of data rows. In other words, delete all of the data and the line num rows equals size of. And in its place, paste the snippet, examplets, SQL, insert people data file. This code is documented in line. Don't worry too much about the specifics just now, as we'll come back to this in more detail later. For now, be satisfied that we have scripted code that will work with any CSV data file of person data without changing our code at all. Briefly, this piece of code opens for reading the data file we've just created. It initializes a variable i to zero. While we cannot find the end of this file, it gets a line of file. It uses the PHP explode function to put the comma separated elements of the line of the file into the array variable person data. It increments the variable i. By the time this is finished, the array person data contains the array of data items. And then we close the file and assign the variable num rows to the size of the person data array. Save this script as insert person data 3 and run the script in your browser. Finding the DB WIP directory, looking for insert person data 3 and run it. As we intended, it echoes the entire SQL statement to your browser and tells you it was successful. Go to PHP MyAdmin and click on the tperson table. You can sort this table by ID number or first name or whatever you wish. I've chosen to sort it by ID number so that we can see that we have inserted all of the rows that were actually in our snippet data file which of course is also represented now in the file data file, which we can open as well.